Welcome back to my channel, and if you've never been here before, I'm Taryn, and this is my channel, Taryn Essence. So today I want to talk about three fragrances that are either marketed towards men or are unisex, so if that sounds fun, stick around. Okay, so the three fragrances I want to talk about all have something in common. They all have tobacco and vanilla, and the first one is Tom Ford Tobacco Vanille. This one is marketed as unisex. And then I have a sample of Parfums de Marley Herod, and this one is marketed to men. And lastly, I have Zara Rich Warm Addictive, and this one is also marketed towards men. So I told you that they all have the tobacco and vanilla, and that is a scent that I find very comforting, very warm and cozy, and it's just something there's something about it that just attracts me, and I don't know what it is or why, but I love fragrances where I can smell the tobacco. I do want to point out that everybody picks up on something different. They pick up on different notes, things that stand out to them, and what I smell isn't necessarily what you're going to smell, and that's the really fascinating thing about it. You can read all you want about a certain fragrance, and it might be completely different to you. I've asked this question online and I've done research and I did the research before I ever bought samples of either of them. Um, I, I was curious why people choose one or the other. There's always this, are you team Tobacco Vanille or team Herod? And so I was curious about that. I've asked the question whenever I post them on my Instagram, which I will link here for you guys in case you're not following me there. I'm curious if you've tried both and which one you prefer over the other and why. I don't ever hear Zara compared, I, I shouldn't say I don't ever hear Zara compared to the others because I have had people say, you know, if, if you can't get one, you should just get Zara. But I don't find that to be the case at all. First, I want to talk about the price of these and I have my little notes, I have cheat sheets here because there's no way I'm gonna remember this stuff. So the most expensive one would have to be Tom Ford Tobacco Vanille. I only have the 30 mil bottle, but compared to, or if you look at the 100 mil bottle, the price per milliliter is $3.40 per milliliter. Let that sink in. Next is Parfums de Marly Herod, and this one, based on a 125 ml bottle, costs $2.48 per mil. Okay, that's for a 125 ml bottle. This bottle here is 100 milliliters, also known as 3.4 fluid ounces, and this one goes for 20 cents per milliliter. Huge price difference there. So th that's something to think about. I personally feel like a woman could pull these off. Depends on the woman. Um, I do need to learn the different tobacco notes that they're on fragrances because sometimes I will smell a fragrance that says it has tobacco and I can't pick it up. Sometimes I like that fragrance even though I'm not picking up on that note. So I do want to say that they're, they're worth a shot if you're a woman and if you're a man you're probably going to melt the women. <laughs> okay, so now I wanna talk a little bit more about what I'm getting out of these and the occasions that I would probably wear them for or a man could wear them for. And first I wanna talk about Herod. So Herod is very warm. It's very, very tobacco heavy. It's like that pipe tobacco and it is just so delicious. It's delicious. If you want tobacco, you need to try this. You need to sample it. It is very warm. Just like I said, I like what I like about the tobacco scents, that this is it. I get very cozy, warm, sexy, rich, just delicious vibes. It's so, so good. There used to be a shop in a mall that I went to as a kid and they had at, um, they had they sold tobacco for pipes and I remember I would cut through they had like a little walk-through area um, it was on a corner and so they just had a post and I would walk through there I never went up to the counter I was way too young and they probably would have thought who's this kid what is she doing <laughs> so 
I would walk through the store and I could just smell the tobacco and it was so good. I just loved it. And that's what this one reminds me of. I just find it very smooth. It's, it's I, I just get it mostly um, tobacco and some spices. There's probably cinnamon in there. I'm not entirely sure. Um, it's just very, very warm. And then it dries down to this beautiful, smooth vanilla. It is so, so delicious. And I love to wear this one. Absolutely love Herod. Talking about Herod, I feel like it can be worn anytime from casual to dress up. It's not one that projects a lot. I feel like it stays a bit closer to you. It lasts, for me, it lasted probably half the day and then I would reapply it, but I just keep getting like whiffs of it or wafts, whatever you call it. I just, I keep getting it and it's just so cozy and warm and um, I feel like it could be used for a date night, for going out to dinner. It's not loud, it doesn't project a lot. My camera just stopped recording automatically. Um, I just, I really find Herod to be very sexy, very delicious, very warm. By the way, if you guys are enjoying this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, like the video, or dislike it if you don't like it for whatever reason, and subscribe. Okay, now Tobacco Vani. This one is quite a bit different from Herod in my opinion. I don't know how people could say, you know, like compare a tobacco fragrance like Herod and Tobacco Vani and even put them in the same, same category because to me, Tom Ford Tobacco Vani is more like clove. It's like clove Vani, you know? I'm. I do get some tobacco in there, but it's not very strong. The clove is so intense. It's like opening up your spice cabinet. Um, all the heavy, the warm, heavy, spicy spices. It is it is really good. Um, this one to me is a powerhouse. It is very, very strong. And it's funny when I say that, I always think of Benjamin Centaur fragrance because one time I mentioned that and he said, if you think that's strong, I wonder what you would think of my fragrances. Because he's more into like niche and stuff like that. And I'm not there yet. If I will ever get there, I don't know. Um, so I just feel like this one is a powerhouse. It lasts a really long time. I feel like it projects a lot more than Herod if I'm comparing the two of them. And... I could spray it in the morning and then midday I would spray it again and it will last me until midnight. That's how that's how strong it is. I, I do feel like it's a lot more concentrated, but I'm not getting that tobacco. I do get a vanilla and it's a really nice vanilla. The dry down is beautiful. Everything about it is just beautiful. It's just so different from Herod. It's not that pipe tobacco that I get that I that I really, really loved. It's so good though. Um, I think that the tobacco vani could be worn as casual, kind of depends on the person. Um, but for me, it's more of like a dress up type of a fragrance just because it's so like spicy and it, it makes a presence. It says, it makes a statement. It's like, I am here. I have arrived. It, it has a presence about it. And if you have tried it, then you probably know what I'm talking about. Um, this one, it's really good, but I think I said it was my Christmas fragrance. I feel like it's very sharp and assertive and it's, it's definitely a boss fragrance. And lastly, I want to talk about Zara Rich Warm Addictive, also RWA if you have looked at that online. I blind bought this one just because everybody talked about how amazing it was and it's leaking. I feel like this one leans a little more on the feminine side because I personally do not get that tobacco note. I don't get it. It might be tobacco flower, which is completely different, but I don't get tobacco in it. And I do pick up on the coconut note and I don't know if this one has coconut in it, but I definitely get coconut vibes from it. Um, it is the cheapest of all three of them. It is also the lightest, like the thinnest 
of the three. Um, I feel like Tom Ford is the strongest. This one is definitely the lightest. It feels like it's a very thin consistency. It does not last long on me. I feel like I have to spray it probably six to eight times and that's only gonna last me a couple of hours. And the others I might spray four or five times and they're going to last me half a day. So huge, huge difference there. The atomizer is great, but obviously mine is leaking, but it sprays really nice and clean and smooth. Reminds me of a very thin tanning oil. And the reason I say that is because it's like oil you would think is thick and I don't get any kind of thickness, but if you're familiar with what tanning oil smells like, like that real coconutty tropical, that's what I'm getting out of this. So I get that. And then I get another thing out of it, which is kind of along the same lines. And it reminds me of being in the Caribbean. You're there during, you know, when the sun is out and you have tanning oil on you and you just go straight to the bar and it's nighttime. This is something I want to drink. Like that's how good it smells. It smells so good, but it's not one that I, and this is where I might have, I might have the unpopular opinion. I don't want to wear this one out. I feel like this one is something that I'm going to wear at home. If I'm winding down, getting ready for bed, um, or just lounging, if I'm watching a movie, just kind of chilling at home and I just want to smell good and I don't want to use a heavy, heavy fragrance. This is the one that I would choose. It just gives me like warm, tropical coconut vibes in a dark rum way. And I don't know if the rum is the same kind of rum that you would pick up as a rum note in fragrance, but that's just the vibe that I get from it. I would not wear this as a dress up fragrance. Personally, it could be a date night. I feel like this one is, this one leans more towards the younger crowd. Like anyone from high school to I guess whenever. So I do feel that Tom Ford and Parfums de Marly are more for the mature crowd and Zara is definitely for a younger crowd. Of course, anyone can wear anything they like. Okay, so now the question is, would I repurchase? Well, I don't have a full bottle of Parfums de Marly Herod and I absolutely want one. So yeah, I need to get it. I, I need that, absolutely need it. Next is Tom Ford Tobacco Vanille. Would I repurchase this one? This one I'm kind of on the fence on. Um, maybe, maybe leaning more towards yes. Um, it's not a no, but I have a full bottle and I, this one's probably going to last me a really long time. And lastly, Rich Form Addictive by Zara. Would I repurchase this? Probably not because I don't have a strong desire to have this one in my collection. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I will leave a playlist somewhere here for the last video of the 21 questions. Everybody who's done the video is in that playlist and you're welcome to do it too. Thanks for watching. Bye.